Hey guys, you're watching India Today Tech and in this video, we're going to unbox the Nubia N2. It's a successor to the Nubia N1 and like all the Nubia smartphones, it is a global roaming phone. That means it supports SIM cards that will be working in all the countries. So now the N2 comes in a metal unibody design and it follows the similar design language that all the Nubia smartphones before have been following. That is, it has golden color accents with the black unibody design. Now let's talk about the specs first and then we'll unbox the phone and we'll take a quick look at uh, what the Nubia N2 has to offer. The phone comes with a MediaTek chipset. It has an octa-core processor with 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage. It has a 5.5 inch LCD display that has HD resolution. That is 720p, which is quite less for the price. It comes with a metal unibody design with 2.5D curved glass, global roaming is there and there is a 16 megapixel camera in the front with a 13 megapixel camera in the back. So that is something uh, different from other phones. The phone runs Android 6.0 which is quite an older interface now. Most phones come with Android Nougat. Then it has quick charge capability and there is a 5000 mAh battery. So guys this phone packs a very big battery so now let's quickly take off the wraps of the smartphone box the phone is available on amazon okay so this is the nubia n2 sleeping in the box it has a metal unibody design and we can see it mimics the design very similar to that of the iphone there are antenna lines at the top and at the bottom there is a speaker grill at the bottom as well uh, but the phone looks quite finished the build quality and the design looks very similar to the oppo f3 and many other smartphones like the vivo uh, and probably the motorola g5 plus as well that launched in a similar price bracket but uh, the look and feel it's quite different actually the uh, metal is quite solid and you feel the weight in hand and the cold metal is uh, it's quite evident that it's a much stronger uh, build on the phone so now let's uh, turn uh, turn on the phone and we'll check the buttons around so the uh, power button is quite tactile and so are the volume keys there is a fingerprint scanner at the front and it would be acting as a home button as well but it's not clickable there is a headphone jack at the top and a microphone beside it for noise cancellation and there is a microphone at the bottom as well and uh, a USB type C port for charging so let's take this off and you see the golden uh, accents on the home button and the back is quite uh, reminiscent of Nubia smartphones. There is a red ring around the uh, camera and the home button as well. Let's also take off the... We'll set up the phone and we'll come back in a minute. So this is the Nubia N2 guys. The interface is very similar to what we have seen on previous Nubia phones. It's built on Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Uh, the keys at the bottom I found are backlit, but uh, they're not very visible in uh, bright light. The light is very faint and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's just a dot that, you, that, is not, uh, that is not visible very clearly, but uh, in the dark, of course, they will be uh, appearing backlit. So let's also check the other contents of the box and we'll take a look at the phone and its uh, camera quality. So this is the quick start guide. Then there is a SIM ejector tool and a warranty card. Then there is a USB type C cable. Then there's a travel adapter that has two amperes of rating. Uh, it's a fast charger from uh, Nubia. And we'll uh, let you know in the review uh, what's the speed of charging now there are no earphones in the box so that is all that was uh, available in the box that comes with the phone now let's take a look at the phone 
Now the touch experience of the phone is quite smooth uh, because of course it does come with a 2.5D uh, curved glass and uh, the interface looks quite snappy though it has a MediaTek chipset uh, which is uh, not very comparable rather uh, quite inferior when compared to the Snapdragon 625 that the Moto G5 Plus has. The app opening looks quite snappy. There are many third party apps on uh, Nubia's interface as I can see. Uh, there's a dual instance where you can use dual apps. Now let's go over to the settings menu and we'll check some of the uh, features that the phone has. There is the launcher where you can change wallpapers and stuff. There is a breathe light that was available with Nubia N1 as well. So that will, uh, but this uh, will be active only when the phone is charging. Now let's take a look at the gesture features that uh, Nubia phones come with. So with all the current generation phones, Nubia is packing uh, gesture features that utilize the uh, edge to switch to apps or probably close apps or multitask. For example, you can swipe from top edge to switch from different apps or you can swipe on the edges to increase or decrease brightness but then it has to be very precise. Now I've set up the fingerprint scanner on the phone so we'll check the speed uh, at which uh, Nubia responds to the fingerprint uh, which is quite nice. Also che let's check uh, the camera quality of the smartphone. So here is the first photo taken from the phone. The phone is asking for a lot of permissions. It's obviously the UI that runs atop the Android phone. So for now we see the phone's camera is not that great in low light. There is some visible noise and the, and the exposure range is also not that great. But the camera look appears to be fast. Let's uh, switch to the front camera and take a selfie. It's quite a wide angle uh, camera at front. Being a 16 megapixel sensor, uh, we'll expect it to have great amount of details. So for now, the selfies uh, appear to be quite, uh, in fact, much better than what the rear camera can capture. It's a 30 megapixel camera at the back and I see there is a mode called pretty mode that probably uh, brightens your face. I see the light, the amount of light has been drastically increased. Then there are a lot of apps that the phone has for different kinds of photography like there is a star trail and there's the trajectory that will take the slow motion camera into account then there's clone and then there's a lot of different uh, little camera applications that you can play with so the only parts where the design could have been better is that the backlighting of the uh, keys could have been more bright so it will be visible in the uh, daylight and then the speakers at the bottom Though they appear to be uh, stereo speakers because the grill is uh, divided into two parts but only the left part actually has the speaker. The right is just to uh, complement the looks. Okay now let's also take a look at the SIM card tray. The phone has expandable storage and uh, supports two SIM card slots but then it's a hybrid slot so you'll be able to put either a SIM 2 or a micro SD card for expanding the storage. So that is the Nubia N2 guys, we'll be coming up with the full review, do check it out on our website and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like this video and also share it. Thank you for watching.